Want to chat with some of your favorite cast members from Tollbooth? Catch us on the Tollbooth Live Show every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern at Tollbooth Series on Instagram. Last time on Tollbooth. How are you going to raise Luke now that Karen is gone? So your mom and dad feel I can't raise Luke? Yeah. Yes, we all are. And when Maya's book comes out next week, mm -hmm. I'll be doing well financially, so there's no problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, until then... Why doesn't Luke just stay with me? You ambushed me here right after your sister's funeral, and now you're asking me to let you have Luke. No! Mm -hmm. Number one, Karen let me have Luke. And number one, it's not even let me. I'm his father. Why can't you just put your pride to the side for just a moment? Think about Luke. Think about what he needs. You know, you, your girlfriend, and Luke playing house, that's real cute right now. But shit is about to get real very soon. The answer is no. I'm not doing it. And I really wish we would have came to some type of compromise. Be grateful. When Lisa attacked you, who did you reach out to? Me, because you knew that I would take care of things like I always do. Don't make me out to be the bad guy now that you are becoming weak. You can't keep me here. I will let you walk. Please. First, thank you for fitting me in at such short notice. I never thought my uh, sister-in-law would go through it for a threat, but once I got served last week for this custody hearing, I knew I had to act fast. Okay, Reese. Why don't you tell me why you're here? Oh, my, uh, my ex-wife, uh, Karen, she passed away of cancer. And um, since then, my ex-sister-in-law has claimed that it was Karen's wish that she have full custody of our son, Luke. Is that true? No. My wife and I had problems, okay? And we decided to uh, end our relationship. But there is no way that she would have my ex-sister-in-law raise our son. He's mine. And I'm here. And there's no, absolutely no reason why I should be able to raise my own son. It's Tamara. Tamara? Tamara. Can you... I can't hear you. At Elisa's, help me. Please help me. Okay. Hello. Okay. concerning this case and to determine what will be the best course of action. Let's start over again, okay? Okay. 
Karen came to my house a little bit before Christmas of last year. Remember and about six months ago when you came out to visit Luke and I had that, um, that chest cold? Yeah. Well, what I didn't tell you was it didn't let up at all. And I went in for a few tests. And then I went back for some x-rays and the doctors found a mass near my heart. Wait a minute. When did you find out about this mass? A couple of weeks after the cough. Jeez, oh Karen, that was over a year and a half ago. We were going through a divorce. But we were still together. Had I told you, would you have wanted to stay married longer? Yeah, yeah, I would. And that's exactly why I didn't tell you. If you wanted to stay married to me, I would hope it was because you loved me and not because you thought I was dying. So why tell me now, huh? Why come here and tell me all this now? The doctors are saying that it's going to get worse. And if that happens, I want Luke to be with you. Karen, we can't do that. You can't lose faith like that. You've got to be positive. Believe me, I don't want to, but I have to consider everything. We have to consider everything. For Luke's sake. Yeah, well, like I said, we had problems, but it was the right thing to do. And the fact that Karen came to you and not her sister speaks volumes. Yeah. Well, I don't think we'll have any problems getting the course to see that Karen was fine to leave Luke in your care instead of your sister. Really? Yes, you are the biological father. It would be hard for me to see a judge remove Luke from your care, aside of reasons of abuse and not being able to take care of him financially. Great, this is great news. All right, thank you so much. So, while we're on the topic, what is your occupation and your gross income? Uh, Currently, I do own my own publishing company. I'm trying to get this business off the ground. So at the moment, income kind of varies. Ah, oh, I see. Did you start this company before or after your wife's illness? It was before. Um, that's part of the reason why we decided that it would be best that Luke stay with Karen. Okay. Were you ordered to pay child support? Karen never took me to court, and I did assist the best I could um, with clothes and with my time. I mean, when they moved from Baltimore to Charlotte, I saw Luke at least twice a year. Hmm. How's the business now? It's slow, but um, I just signed my first author, and we'll be releasing her novel in a few weeks. How long does it take to sell a novel? Excuse me, what does any of these questions have to do with my son? Mr. Warren, it has everything to do with your son's custody. From what you are telling me, the reason why you and your ex-wife decided that she should have custody of your son is because you didn't have stable income. And the fact that you just started a business meant that it's going to take a lot of time away from your son, am I correct? Yes. Now, from your sister-in-law's point of view, I can understand why she would want to take custody of Luke. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought you were my attorney and not hers. So what, what, which one is it? Yours. So why does I feel like you're defending her? I'm not. I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't show up a mirror in front of you and show you what you're up against. If you cannot provide your son a stable home, housing, income, and time, you are not going to do well in front of the judge or in front of the court, regardless if you are the biological father or not. So what do I do now, huh? Well, get a job for one. Have a job that will provide steady income, and you need to show the judge that you're more than capable of raising your own son.
Lisa. Yes. Where are they? They're in the cellar, as we discuss. I'm waiting for further instructions. She knows too much, and they both know too much. At least, what's the call? Do it. I'll message you once it's done. Want to chat with some of your favorite cast members from Tollbooth? Catch us on the Tollbooth Live Show every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern at Tollbooth Series on Instagram.